Hello and welcome guys. Recently I received two messages in regards to setting up a home profile. I know I covered the subject a little bit in my Intelligent Sleep Profile demo, however I'll expand on this one in this tutorial. We're going to create a profile that covers for when we are home. We will also cover how to add new areas to the profile as well. So we're going to focus on the cell near condition. So as you know, when we are approaching home, we can check what cells are we connected to and we're going to use this low power solution to determine when to enable our Wi-Fi. So we're going to be monitoring our data connection and our Wi-Fi as well. So let's assume we just got into the range of the tower that is closest to our home. At this stage, we would like to enable Wi-Fi. We're also going to keep our data connection on because we don't know whether we're just going to pass by or whether we're going to head home. At this stage also it will be a moment before we reach the area with our Wi-Fi. Once we close enough however we should reach the area when our device will automatically connect to our home Wi-Fi. At this moment the Wi-Fi connection will be established and we can easily decide to disable our data connection because we are no longer going to need it. Now at this stage you might be tempted just to reverse the entire situation to create an exit profile. However, after testing you will notice this is only very short term solution and it won't work in the long run. will create a lot of problems. As we are already having a connection to our Wi-Fi we no longer need a profile that dictates when Wi-Fi should be enabled. So what will happen if we want to leave our home? Of course we're going to lose Wi-Fi connection first. That should be signal to our device that we want to monitor our nearest surroundings and keep the Wi-Fi on just in case we were outside and uh, I don't know just taking out the trash or similar. At the same time, to keep the device connected, we're going to enable the mobile data on our phones. And in the situation when we're far enough to leave our cell near condition, then we want to disable our Wi-Fi and rely, of course, on the mobile network connection. There is one more situation we have to take in consideration. What will happen if we lose Wi-Fi connection? Well, it will just enable the 3G and we're good to go. So, how about night time? At night it is probable that we're going to simply disconnect our Wi-Fi because we want to have a good sleep and have no notification. However, our device will be thinking that we simply left home. We can introduce new variable sleep that will prevent our device from thinking that we left the home. That way the device will know that we stayed in bed, we're having a great time and we definitely not left the house at silly o'clock. So what about the situations when we are outside and we want to use our Wi-Fi connection? Well, there is a trick to that as well and we're going to cover that in the tutorial itself. Let's start it. So we're going to start by adding a state connection that will determine when we near home depending on our towers. So this is phone and cell tower near. We're going to quickly scan for some of the networks we available near us and we create very simple task that will enable our Wi-Fi. In our task list we're going to simply enable our Wi-Fi and also we're going to add a new variable that will tell our device that we are entering home area. This is done by utilizing variable called outdoor and I'm going to set it to zero because we no longer outside at home area. Once this is done, let's rename the profile just to get rid of the confusion and then we are going to jump to tasks. If you follow my tutorials, you know what we're going to do next. We're simply going to clone the task list. Once this is cloned, we're going to simply change the values and make sure our task is ready for later use. Now you might be tempted to use this exit task in your newly created profile near home. However, this is a very bad idea and it will cause a lot of problems. 
this is not what we're going to do. We're going to create a new state profile and this will describe when device is connected to our Wi-Fi. Please select Wi-Fi connected as condition of your profile and we're going to create a new task list. These two profiles and four task lists, they're going to be our foundation for the profile. Once we're home, we no longer need our mobile data connection, which I'm going to disable using secure settings. Once this is completed, I also want to tell my device that I'm already home. So I'm going to create a new variable, name it of course home and set it to one. This will do for now. So once this is set, we're going to exit out and again clone the task and set the opposite values. We're going to get back to this profile a little bit later and improve it. Right now we're just focusing on foundations. This time, because the profile is pretty straightforward, we're going to create an exit task and add our new task list as an exit task to the profile. As you remember, we want only exit task to be played when we are outside the network range. We don't want this to happen when we're sleeping, so I'm just going to use a stop action to tell my device not to exit the profile when my device simply goes to sleep. We're going to use a if condition and set the variable sleep equals one. Once this is done, I'm going to move the task in the front of our task list and our job is done. We can now rename the profile. Okay, so this is done. We still, however, missing the task for when we're leaving near home state. So I'm just going to quickly clone the conditions because they're gonna be exactly the same and add Wi-Fi minus and invert the conditions. And this is the best way of turning off your Wi-Fi using cell near condition. Remember also to rescan your networks near home because sometimes it might happen you will miss one cell that will constantly knock off your profile and render it useless. After we renamed our profile, we're going to add perform task. This is going to be linked to when we entering our Wi-Fi. So once we connect us to Wi-Fi at home, we want to disable scanning for towers and enabling Wi-Fi uh, settings on our phone. This means we want our profile near home to be inactive when we connect it to Wi-Fi. And when we no longer connect it to Wi-Fi, we want to enable this profile again. So at this point, we should be pretty much covered for all situations that we can encounter by entering home and leaving it. Well, let's have a look now how to establish a Wi-Fi connection when we are outside. First of all, we're going to create a small scene. The scene's gonna contain just the one button and it's gonna be displayed on our screen for a few seconds only. This will appear on our screen each time for a few seconds when we are outside and there is a possibility that we want to add new area to enable Wi-Fi. By clicking it, we will enable scanning for cells around and added it to whitelist. I'm not going to play with the button just yet, I'm just going to set it to be destroyed the moment we tap on it. Once we've got our scene, we can take care of the profile that will make that scene appear on our screen. So let's do this now. I want the button to be present for about three to five seconds each time our screen is on and unlocked and we are outside. That should be pretty non-intrusive and it shouldn't annoy us too much. I'm going to create new task and create and show the scene that we just created. I'll set the scene to be visible for a short period of time and then to be destroyed automatically. You can use a notification if you want uh, or just use the slider to position the scene in a place you think it's going to be disturbing the least. I'm also going to use the wait action as it shouldn't drain much CPU because our screen will be already working. Once this is done, I'm going to quickly rename it and add a new condition. That's going to be variable outdoors equals one. 
Now we need a task that will take care of scanning our IDs and saving them for later to be used. So we're just going to create a new task. There is a variable system variable. There is a system variable responsible for the name of the cells that we can obtain by passing it to the array. When we press on our scene, we want our device for the next three to five minutes to save all the information about cells nearby and use them as a trigger in a profile that will allow the use of Wi-Fi. Because I'm also expecting multiple entries, I'm going to create a loop and I'm going to save all the results in an array. I want that information to be available every about 30 seconds. Previously, I've created index variable that will be responsible for counting. I've set it to one. So every 30 seconds, I want our cell ID to be written to the array. Using option variable push array, I'm going to set each new entry to the first position in that array and I'm going to set the value of the array to the name for that cell. And once this is done, we want to simply repeat the task several times to gather all the, all the information about the cells. Information about towers, it's being carried over by the variable, by the system variable, cell ID. So I'm going to select that as our value. Once this is done, we're going to increase our index value. We're going to, this is going to be like a simple counter to count how many times we want this to be completed. Which each iteration, the number index will be increasing by one. Don't forget also to select do mass, otherwise the value of the variable will be incorrect. I'm going to clear up my order and also I'm going to create a label to our array push action so I could recall it whenever I want. I'm just going to mark it as a loop and then using go to action, I'm going to refer to this loop later. By using go to action, we will choose it that way so it would repeat six times before the loop will be completed. So with each iteration, it's going to go to the action label loop and also each time will increase the index by one. Once it reaches six, the loop will stop. And because after the loop has been completed, I still have some stuff to do, I'm going to use another go-to to jump out from this loop itself. 